In this session, we're going to look at shutter speed, ISO and aperture. So I've got this handy diagram here that will give us all the information we need. So let's go through it. First, we'll start with aperture. So if we look at the left, we've got something called F32. So that's our F stop. So that means, um, so as you can see, the circle represents the iris. So it's closed down at F32. So it's not letting a lot of light in. And the image above, you can see the kind of effect. So everything's in focus. If we go to the other end, we have a large aperture, so f1.4, it's letting more light in. So you'll notice that the subject, so the little man, is in focus and the background is out of focus. Right, let's look at shutter speed. So again, we'll go over to the left. So fast shutter speed, so 1 over 1000 means you'll capture all the action. And what you'll get is you won't get any motion blur. If we go to the far right where we've got a slow shutter speed, so 1 over half, you'll see you'll get lots of motion blur. So that's a really nice effect if you're filming kind of any sport or anything with a lot of action and you want to capture some cinematic motion blur. Okay, let's have a look at ISO. So again, over on the left, we've got low sensitivity, so ISO 50. So if you're shooting at either 24 frames or 25 frames a second, you want your ISO at double the frame rate, so that's 50 frames per second. Obviously, if you're shooting at slow motion, say you're shooting at 120 frames, you'll want your ISO as close to double as that as possible. If we jump over to the right where we've got ISO 25,600, you'll notice there's lots and lots of noise there. So you really want to avoid shooting in those high ISO ranges because you're going to get lots of grain. So that's ISO, aperture and shutter speed explained. I'll see you in the next session.